Well, this is not how I planned to start this vlog. Do you love the... Just listen to me, okay? I filmed a whole intro clip. It wasn't super long, maybe like four minutes. And that included big pauses because a lot of times I just sit and stare. Anyway, hi, welcome to the vlog. This isn't usually what I do here in terms of starting things off, but my name's Meredith. I'm writing a Regency romance. Anyway, it's the end of the day. It's the end of Saturday. I've vlogged all day. I imported my footage and the opening clip that I filmed of being like, hey everyone, hey, here's what's going on. There is a mess in the audio. Let me give you a quick sample. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips and we are revising. Yeah, so I don't think you want to listen to that for like three minutes. That sounds horrible. So hopefully this one will be okay. I checked the rest of the footage from today and it was fine. So I don't know what the heck, I don't know what the heck, but um, that can't be the intro for the vlog because nobody's gonna watch it. Let me recap what I was trying to say in that opening clip. I actually sat down on Tuesday and started filming the beginning of a vlog, thinking I was going to vlog through the whole week and have like a separate vlog for Tuesday or something. Um, that didn't happen, okay? I filmed a big clip on Tuesday, which I do wanna show you here in a second. Um, and then I've just kind of felt gross all the week. <laughs> so I was like, how about no? So let me show you that clip real quick. I thought I would try to be a little more specific with what exactly am I doing to revise these chapters. Obviously some stuff I can't get too specific about or that I'm like telling you the entire story and I'm not really willing to do that. So, um, but let me take you over here real quick and I'll try to at least share a little more specifically like what kind of notes I took and the types of things that I'm fixing. Okay, so my initial thought was to like do a share my screen situation, but like the entire screen would just be blurred out. Good job thinking Meredith. I'm just gonna put some screenshots when they're appropriate, but like here's my document. Um, I have all this pulled up in Scrivener. I have the chapter on one side. I have my outline on the other on the on the another side. Good job. I'm really we're doing fantastic. I have my outline pulled up on the other side of the split screen that you can do in Scrivener. Then I have the inspector tab open which has all of my notes for the scene, things I want to change. I'm using the little synopsis box at the top of the inspector to note how many words I had in that scene for draft one. And then my plan is when I'm actually finished, 100% finished with draft two, I can go back and add how many words each scene or each chapter is for draft two to kind of keep track of like, are you adding a bajillion words to every scene? Like, calm down, ma'am. Um, I'm feeling pretty okay with the word count. We're only at 58,000 for the moment, so we're doing good. We're okay, we can add some more words. Uh, we're not closing in on 100,000 yet, so I feel good about that. Wouldn't it be great if I could keep this book under 90K? I mean, that's a goal. So let me go ahead and show you some of the changes I'm making to this first chapter. So right off the bat, in draft one of this chapter, I have two paragraphs that introduce the main character, and he is on his way to his father's house. And in those first two paragraphs, I give the reason why he's going to his father's house. And he's very nervous, he's very anxious about having to go because he knows his father's really pissed off about something, and he doesn't really want to have to deal with that. So there's a lot of like anxiety and stuff, but the anxiety that I'm hoping the reader feels as they're reading this is completely nullified because you know immediately what the reason is he's on his way to this house, right? So I decided to take out that information and like save it. I don't need to tell them yet. I wanna to try to build up some anxiety and nerves and like, oh my gosh, like what is he going for? And like, what's gonna happen when he gets there? Like that kind of thing. So I took out that piece of information and I think it reads a lot better to wait to get to when he's actually with his father and then we can kind of see what's going on. So that was the first thing I did. The second thing, <laughs> You know I'm uh, lacking on description in that first draft. So I had two, really three, um, side characters in this first chapter. I didn't really have any descriptions of them, so I added in some brief descriptions. You know, they're side characters, minor characters in some cases. You don't need to have paragraphs on paragraphs of description, but we do need a little something, a little something, something. So I added a little bit of information for them. 
I also had the tricky uh, problem of describing the main character. This is from his POV. It can get hard to insert description of a main character when the POV is their own without being like, I passed by a mirror and saw my brown hair. You know, you don't want to do, you don't really want to have to do that. You know, there's really clunky ways you can go about describing a main character. And so I have, I fit in a little bit of description for him, not a ton. Again, like it's just hard to figure out like how can I put this in there without it being like super obvious. So I have a few little pieces. You get a better description of him in the next chapter, which is from the heroine's POV. She sees him and then it's like a little more, it makes a little more sense for her to describe what she's seeing instead of him describing himself. Like he knows what he looks like. The other thing I was trying to uh, weave in a little more to this first chapter was one of the main character's motivations. What he, what does he want? And so I was trying to fit that in and make it a little more clear. There was also a lot of sort of, not backstory, but just sort of like setting up why certain things were happening. So his father is pushing him to make certain decisions and it was nowhere, absolutely nowhere. Like, why does his father care about this? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> so I needed to add in information about like, why is his dad pushing him to do this stuff? And so I had to, I layered that in. I added a new character to the scene. The heroine's father is in the scene now where he was completely absent from the entire book before. We just, he had absolutely no page time whatsoever. He's not an important character. Like he has a very small role to play in the story, but he, he probably needs to be in there. So he fit really well to introduce him in this scene. And then uh, he needs to show up again, I would think kind of somewhere else. I'm not really sure. We'll see. I also wanted to add mention of like, he's not in the book at all, but my main character does have a younger brother. And I don't think you learn that until like <laughs> 10 or 15 chapters in <laughs> to the first draft. So I was like, let me just like put a little mention so we kind of have an idea of what his family looks like. So in all for this new version of the chapter, I started with 2,255 words and it has ended just under 3K at 2,997 words. One of my goals for this first chapter in particular was to try to keep it under 3K so it would fit on 10 pages double spaced. That way if you know, when I'm querying this, hopefully in like the next year or so. A lot of agents ask for 10 pages as a sample. And so then I can send them the entire first chapter. I just like, I just like that. Now, obviously some agents ask for 20 pages, some ask for five, some ask for 50, but at least this one fits on 10 pages. That's just very satisfying to me. I don't know if that, it does not matter that much at all, but it's very nice to have it come out exactly at 10 pages. So those were the big changes I made to this first chapter. I did of course also go in and do a little bit of fiddly word changing and you know messing with the sentences so they're not all starting with he was, he was, he was or you know something like that. So I did do a little work on that. I tried not to spend a ton of time doing like really detailed line editing kind of stuff because of course this entire first chapter could be scrapped at some point. I might think of some other way to open the story that's even better and just delete everything and start from scratch essentially. So I don't like to spend a huge, huge amount of time going through and doing little fiddly bits with the words, but that's also super fun. And I also, you know, that I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting into now, you know, eventually this is going to go to a critique partner and they're going to read it and they're definitely going to judge me harshly. So I want to try and make it sound decent. Okay. So, so there's that, there's that like pressure and it's not necessarily a bad pressure, but it's definitely there where I want this to be a good representation of my writing skill. And if I've got really stupid sounding words, I'm going to be embarrassed. So yeah, I did do a little bit of word changing sentence restructuring in order for it to sound at least competent. Like I kind of know what I'm doing over here. But yeah, that's it for chapter one. So let me know in the comments, like what kind of stuff are you changing for a, taking a draft one to a draft two kind of situation? Um, and let me know if it's helpful knowing that kind of detail. Do you care? Is it interesting? 
Does it make you think about what you're changing or not changing in your own work? I don't know. Let me know. And if that is helpful, I'll try to incorporate that more into these vlogs. If you're like, oh my gosh, that was like literally so boring. You're probably not watching anymore. But if you are, like, let me know. Like, <laughs> that's too much. We don't need to know that much. And I, I will not do that again. I will check in with you a little later when I have some more updates for you. Okay, back to me here on Saturday afternoon. I did have a successful week in terms of revising. I've gone through chapter four with my revisions and chapters five and six, I'm or scenes, it's really scenes five and six, I'm thinking are gonna be need to be combined into one chapter. We'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, let me just pop you to the next clip. And, and then we can go from there. I promise I'm like professional vlogger. I'm sorry, this intro is so weird. But let's go back to Saturday morning and past Meredith can take it from there. All right, I've got everything pulled up over here. I have music ready to go. My headphones, they're plugged in. I've got a couple scenes here. There's two that I'm thinking might be combined. Not necessarily that like the plot stuff can be combined but in terms of chapters um you know how they do like little chapter breaks to show like a short passage of time and then you basically get another scene within the same chapter i'm thinking that's how this next set of scenes should go together so i'm going to kind of be looking at that i have a new scene coming up that i need to write from scratch it's brand new i need to write that i also have just sort of like questions I've left for myself about certain aspects of these next couple scenes where I'm like, could you combine this kind of stuff? Like make it a little more straightforward. A lot of the notes I've left for myself are a little more bigger picture kind of notes, whereas the stuff I was working on in those first couple scenes, they were pretty specific to that scene. Like put in more description, make this more clear, like that kind of stuff. This the changes that I'm thinking about making are a little more far reaching. So let's get going. This scene currently is only 894 words. So that's part of the reason I think it maybe should combine into one chapter with the next scene, which is I think only like a thousand words. Yeah, basically a thousand words. So yeah, we might need to do a little rearranging over here. Even though these are shorter in terms of word count at the moment, this might take me a while just because of the type of revision I'm thinking about doing. So let's get going. All right, it is a few minutes after noon. Um, I've been working for about two hours on this and it's going pretty good. I did decide to combine those two scenes into one chapter. So this is now, it's like a little more chapter length. It's about 2100 words um, instead of like an 800, 900 word scene and then a 1000 ish word scene. So that worked really well. I think it flows well as, I think it flows well as well. I added in some new backstory not a ton just a few lines to like explain a certain thing so i have that in here now and yeah can you see all the crossed off stuff i don't know if you can see it no you cannot hold on can you see can you see how many things are crossed off over here i don't know if you can tell anyway it's crossed off because i did lots of work so i think i want to reread these through maybe just once more kind of go through the whole thing uh, and then I get to write a new scene. So I'm excited about that. I might try to go in. I have like a little summary, like here's my idea for what this scene is gonna be, but I haven't really like broken it out into my little scene by scene breakdowns that I like to do. So I think I, maybe I'm gonna do that first just to make sure like the conflict is clear and I kind of have thought through how it's gonna end and flow into the next scene and some different things like that. Um, those breakdown things really help me. So I might do that. I feel like it's lunchtime, but I'm not super hungry. So maybe I'll read through this and kind of finish this officially. Check it off my list. I made a list earlier in the week because I love checking stuff off. So maybe we can do that and officially check them off. So 
well, yeah, let me do that. And then maybe I'll kind of be ready for lunch. I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. Mm, there's not a whole lot in there. Maybe eggs again? Scrambled eggs? I don't have a cucumber. Wow, no, wait, I do have a cucumber. Should we do that lunch again? Okay, let me finish this first, and then we'll see what I'm in the mood for food-wise. All right, my little lunch, little, it was like an hour. Um, that's over. I enjoyed my egg sandwich and my cucumbers, thank you. And now I get to draft a whole new scene. <laughs> so let me, before we do that, I do wanna do the little like scene by scene breakdown card like I do for everything else, just to make sure, excuse me, just to make sure everything makes sense and I know exactly what I want to incorporate into the scene. This is going to serve a couple different purposes. I already know one of the issues was my heroine's best friend in the original draft is not introduced until like over halfway through the book. But she needs to be introduced a little sooner. So this scene is going to introduce her and we're going to get another minor character introduction who at this point is just going to be like He's this random guy, like, okay, he's just sort of there and like, goodbye. But he's gonna end up playing a bigger role in the story. But I wanna plant him now so that later it'll be like a, hopefully like a bit of a like plot twist kind of thing. So that'll be fun, or it's supposed to be, we'll see. This is also gonna help establish, um, better establish one of the heroine's like goals, her interests, some of her motivations. Um, and we're also going to get a little, little, little teeny peek at the best friend's interests. She's just the best friend for this book, so we don't need to know that much about her, but I want to kind of have this interest of hers be just, just, you know, mentioned casually, so to speak. So let's go ahead, do a little plotting and planning and outlining, and then we'll get to writing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this was very slow going. I think I'm just losing concentration. It's almost four o'clock and I've written a thousand words. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, it you know it's fine, I, whatever, but I'm a thousand words into this scene. I'm not quite done with it. Like I need to sort of finish it out, Meh. but uh, you know, maybe another 200 or so words and then I'm sure I'll, I'll need to go back through and you know, mess with stuff because the, the wording is very clunky, but that's okay. For the moment now, I need a break because I've been working for what? A long time, six hours, something like that. Anyway, we're gonna take a little break I might come back here and poke at this later tonight, but for now, for today, I am done. I am done. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll keep working through this scene probably, uh, and then we'll be able to go back to just like revising stuff. So I will see you then. gone through chapter seven and added some things. I really haven't added all that much. I think I'm up like 200 
words. I love this scene. I really love this scene. It's all the buddies. They're so fun. It was pretty strong, I think, to begin with, but I needed to add some description. There were a few little details that I didn't put in. There were, there was like a little mini plot hole I had to mess with. So I'm gonna take a minute to reread the whole thing now, make sure it flows well, and then I think I'm gonna be done with that one. Uh, it's 11.30, so I think as soon as I'm done with this, it'll be lunchtime. So let's do a quick reread, fiddle with any little leftover pieces I feel like need to be fiddled with, and then I'll take a little break. Okay, I've had my lunch. It was just leftover tuna noodle casserole. Nothing, nothing exciting like yesterday. And I'm still chilly, so I have my blankie on, and I guess I'm gonna move on to chapter eight start revising that. I'm excited. I only have, what, three more? Yeah, three more chapters to revise before I will feel comfortable starting to send it to critique partners. I want to be an act ahead in terms of revision than what they're reading, you know, because I don't want, I don't want them to catch up to where I've not revised yet. Does that make sense? But yeah, I'm looking forward to sending it to them. I'm trying not to rush through these chapters in order to be done with act one. I am trying to take my time. And I think when I finish act one, I'm gonna go back and just like read the whole thing all the way through just to see how it sounds. But maybe at the end of this coming week, I'll get to start sending them chapters. That'll be really fun. I'm excited. So we've had several scenes where the two main love interest characters are off doing their own things and they're not involved with each other at all. And so this next scene, they're actually in the house again together and it's not gonna go well, but that's fun. <laughs> so uh, let me reread this and see what I need to do. Okay, let me be fully honest with you. I am losing my concentration. It's not even that late. It's quarter after two, but I'm just like, Burr. I've been awake since like five. Anyway, I did a little bit of fiddling with chapter eight, not a ton. I don't know if there's like a ton, a ton that needs to be done. I'm just sort of adding little details like emotional reactions or, or things to like fill it out a little better. Yeah, I don't know. There's not maybe a, a huge amount, but it's only 1200 words. I don't know. I'm just like not, uh, I'm just tired right now. So I'm gonna stop for the moment. I have some other stuff I need to do around the house. I might come back to this a little later, but I'm just gonna kind of poke at it when I feel like it. So I do think I'm gonna wrap this up for today. I am trying to work on a video specifically about revision. Um, in last week's vlog, I asked if anyone had questions, I posted some stuff over on Instagram and it feels like there's a lot of people who are just struggling. Like, what do you, what do you do? How do you do this? Help me please. So I'll put, I'm trying to think through like how I want to organize a video for that. Um, what I think might be helpful. Uh, and yeah, so that's coming at some point. <laughs> Give me a couple weeks maybe to work on that. It might be like a Tuesday video. So anyway, be on the lookout if you have any other questions or like things that you would like to know or any revision related stuff, let me know in the comments. And let me know how your writing is doing. We're almost at like, we're kind of like getting close to halfway through the year. I know, isn't that wild? Let's not think about that. Okay, but like, just let me know how you're doing. <laughs> How's your writing projects going? For now, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. I post videos on Fridays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.